Hi, I'm Jennifer Mercier. I'm the creator of Mercier Therapy Professional Training in Mercier Therapy. Um, my therapy focuses on optimizing the function of the female reproductive organs. So increasing mobility and movement and restoration of blood flow is uh, the focus of the work. I'm going to get started working on Wendy here, who's complaining of some fertility challenges. So first of all, I'm just going to kind of give her her overall abdomen and pelvis a nice warm up. We're going to have to penetrate through the rectus abdominis muscle, which is typically pretty taut on most of us. Once I've gotten that rectus abdominis nice and softened, I can then go in and be able to palpate the uterus and ovaries. And this does take a little bit of time to learn. I had to touch so many women's abdomens um, to be able to discern the placement of these organs. But here we are. So I like to use a, an upside down triangle um, to be able to find the organs. And this is rule of thumb for all women. Typically, if you put your two thumbs together, and you go right here on the belly button, upside down triangle. So the bottom of the triangle is where the top of the uterus is. And if you just bend the fingers, the pointer finger, or the bend the middle fingers in uh, just about an inch away from the top of the uterus, you can find the position of the ovaries. And your ovaries are right there. And they're nice and they're, they're floating actually. I don't feel any restriction in them at all. As for the uterus, I'm feeling a little bit of a restriction in movement into the left ilium, which is the pelvis here. So the goal of the work is to get that restriction freed up. And the way I'm going to do that is to work on the ligament directly. It's a deep pelvic visceral manipulation, so you may feel a little bit of pulling maybe a little bit of discomfort, so you need to let me know if that's what you're feeling. Anything right there? I can feel it. Yeah, what do you feel? Um, just like a pulling or it's not uncomfortable. Anything that um, may radiate down a leg or a hip? Mm -hmm. Okay, good, that tells us we're not on a nerve. So if there were an issue with uh, pain, then I could do a strain counter strain technique where I would hold the point that's causing the pain and I would just gently medially rotate the knee in just to relieve that pressure. So I'm just going to continue my work and I'm going to start at the pubic bone. Fingertips on the pubic bone, I'm going to slide superiorly off the pubic bone and deep into the pelvis while I'm raking the uterus. I'm actually pulling the uterus up out of the pelvis. You okay with that? Mm And when I'm pulling the uterus, I'm actually working the ligaments. Ligaments aren't like muscles where they're very pliable and um, able to elongate and shorten easily. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. So it takes consistency in the work to be able to um, get to the end goal and that's to lift the uterus up into the pelvis and create that optimal movement. Because anything that lives, moves. And if something is living and not moving, it could be slowly losing its life. So organs, they all move when you take an inhale and they move back to their original placement when you exhale. You okay? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow you'll feel like you've done some tummy crunches. <laughs> this will be a little bit sore. For women that suffer from endometriosis or 
um, some sort of pelvic pathology that causes pelvic pain on a, on a chronic basis. Um, they will have more pain during a therapeutic session, um, but the end result is incredible. So I'm just looking at pelvic mobility here. And you don't have to be a physical therapist to do that sort of thing just to evaluate the, the movement of somebody's pelvis. It's not anything where I'm taking a measurement per se. I'm just looking at fluidity here. Already I'm starting to feel more movement in the uterus. You doing all right? Mm -hmm. And this ovary has really freed itself up now. If you can take a quick peek here at how deep I'm working, I'm actually a good maybe three to four inches into the pelvis. You have to think about all of the tissue that has to be manipulated and gone through to get to these organs. The level of these organs is visceral. So if you think about the skin, the adipose, the musculature, all of the fascia that has to be penetrated just to reach these organs. It's a lot of layers. Okay. I'm going to finish up here. Nice pelvic fluidity. feeling good. So when I see women for fertility challenges or um, for pelvic pain, I recommend six hours of therapy total. And that can be broken down however we need to do it. Um, I do have women that are teachers and they can't come in um, three times a week, so I have them come once a week for an hour for six consecutive weeks. And as long as the work is consistent and there isn't a bunch of time in between sessions, then usually we're pretty solid with achieving the goal that we need to achieve. All set.